Good evening. Today I want to talk about Fortress Soldier 2014, an ARG that, despite seeming very uninspired from its name and picture, I still think is worth keeping an eye on. It's very short and still has yet to properly impress me though, hence why this video is going on the second channel. Fortress Soldier joined in August, with its image being of the default Soldier profile picture for Steam and its description reading, Hi, I'm Fortress Soldier 2014. I love making Gmod animations, and the Soldier is my favorite class. You can see the clear inspiration this ARG takes from both Gunslinger and Badwater, but don't worry, this isn't about a player torturing living ragdolls. Or well, I guess it might be, but there's definitely something else weird going on here. As of right now, this channel has four uploads, and is still active as of just a week and a half ago. I've heard that there's some other ARG channels that might potentially be linked to this one, but since that seems to be just speculation, I'm not gonna get into it. At least not in this video. Let's have a look at the first upload, titled Soldier's Day Out. <laughs> Here's a choppy, short Gmon Machinima, which is strange for a couple of reasons. The first thing I note is that the video seems to be completely directionless. Nothing actually happens other than the soldier crawling and jumping around on Lumberyard. There's no resolution to this video. It just suddenly ends. The second thing is this figure in the background of the video's final shot, which to me looks like a heavy ragdoll. Maybe this video is unfinished and the heavy was supposed to appear in the next scene. Or maybe not. We don't have enough information to tell yet, and the description simply restates the title. So, on to the next video, titled Screamo Man Drinks Scrumpy. <laughs> Here we're introduced to Screamo Man, whose defining characteristic is that he screams with every single action he takes. He seems to be this channel's attempt at making a staple character like Melon Man from the Badwater series. And while it's obviously a lot less creative, I'll still give points for effort. Screamo Man spots a bottle of booze, which he chugs silently and awkwardly. Suddenly the production is interrupted, and we see the player's perspective as he glances to his right and spots something red looming in the distance. He then diverts and starts strafing away from it, jumping against a fence as if he's trying to escape the map itself. It's in this video we get the first glance of whatever this entity is. On my first watch, I thought it might have been the glowing error sign that appears when Gmod tries to load a model that it doesn't have downloaded, but on closer inspection, it looks more like an ubercharged red heavy. I think it's safe to say this is probably the same heavy as the figure we saw in the last video appearing through the window. Whatever it is, I don't think the player put it there since he drops his whole machinima to start running away from it. Now I'm going to show you Screamo Man watches TV, even though the behind the scenes video was technically posted first. This is because I think it makes more sense to start with the finished product. Have a look. <laughs> Demo. You will help me capture my point. <laughs> So, it looks like Screamo Man wanted to kill some time by watching TV, but got scolded by the soldier who wanted him to get back on the battlefield. Screamo Man then, in a fit of anger, pounces the soldier and beats him, kills him. It's hard to say, but there's a lot of blood. There's a brief break of a black screen before we see the player for the first time. The first thing that sticks out to me about this video is this one shot of the soldier talking. How fluid the animation is compared to every single other shot in this ARG is kind of off-putting. Maybe this is meant to imply that the soldier is alive and being tortured into participating or whatever, but I don't think so. I think it's just meant to be weird, and it definitely succeeds in that. The second thing I notice is just how awkward this sequence where the Screamo Man attacks the soldier is. There's no music or intensity, he just kind of pounces and starts dry humping him until the video ends. This is the third short that doesn't really have much of a conclusion, and just ends abruptly without a punchline. Now let's have a look at the behind the scenes video.
We see the player fiddle with Screamo Man and spawn the soldier, before there's an abrupt cut and we see him setting up a camera to watch a door. When he comes back, the soldier's helmet is gone, which we can assume the player didn't do based on his reaction. He flings the soldier before going to check on the Demo Man, who is now staring at the door in a pose completely different from the one the player left him in. The player unfreezes and flings him, and as he steps back, we catch a glimpse of the Red Heavy from earlier hiding behind the door. After another abrupt black intermission, we see the player running all across Dust Bowl and seemingly hiding. So let's get the obvious thing out of the way. Something fishy is going on, and the player clearly doesn't like it. The way he has these cameras pointed towards the doors implies he's watching for movement. It's like a little security system. He's scared. Second, it looks like these ragdolls are moving in ways the player does not want them to. The soldier's helmet getting removed and the demo man's head moving are both clearly frightening him. I know a lot of audience members already have some ideas, but before you start spamming the comments with the revelation that the ragdolls are alive, we have to talk about the third point. This thing. It's a red heavy, it's stalking the player, and the player is running away from it instead of unfreezing and flinging it like the others. I think it's pretty clear this is intended to be the antagonist of the ARG, and while it's possible that all of those other ragdolls are alive too, I think it's pretty clear this one is special in some way. Here's my crackpot theory. This red heavy is a figurehead. He's like the Lorax of sentient TF2 characters. He seems to have a bone to pick with the player, possibly because he's making machinimas with his colleagues. I think he has more power than the other ragdolls, since the player is clearly terrified of him. He's a love child of the shadow figure and the sentient ragdoll tropes, but I think depending on the ARG's direction, he might end up being more interesting than both. Maybe these ragdolls are moving on their own, or maybe the Red Heavy is trying to mess with and scare off the player by moving them himself. This all requires a couple leaps in logic, though, so if you have a better idea, please let me know in the comments. I think this ARG caught my eye because of its presentation. Not on the title and icon or banner, but rather the videos themselves. Their quiet and stilted audio design, low frame rate and splicing, all help make them very uneasy to watch. I'm interested to see where the ARG goes from here. Anyway, that's all I've got for Fortress Soldier 2014. I know this video might seem a little bit rushed, and I'm sorry about that. I've recently moved into a new place, and I'm still figuring a lot of things out, so I don't have a lot of time. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed watching. Have a good day. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. I'm real close to a thousand followers.